Hey, it's it's X Y Z, or should I be called Have the Yu-Gi-Oh now? But yeah, never mind. Today we are back for day twenty of the Switch Four Ra. Yes, uh, that means wait. Let me double check. Actually, is this actually day twenty? Okay, la oh no no, actually it's day twenty one. Sorry, the last video that I did this was on day twenty. Oh, which is months ago. My God, I haven't I done it in a while. So yeah, never mind, guys. But we are back to doing Yu-Gi-Oh! The Search of uh, Rats here. Now, if you're wondering why I haven't done this in a while, because I've run out of these packs. So as much as I love doing this unboxing, <laughs> I didn't have the money to buy more of these. So it took me a while to collect the money, to save up the money. And once I did, I had to buy it all the way from the US, which again, takes another month to arrive, which kind of sucks. But yeah. Here you have it, uh, but then uh, it arrived like oh, two weeks ago and then finally I had the time to record this. So yeah, never mind, this is day 21, 21 of the search for uh, Slime Obelisk. Yeah, yeah, this slimy dude right here, we haven't been able to pull him for 21 days. Now, I don't know what the odds are, but I'm, I bought an entire booster box and clearly not, not one had Slime Obelisk, which is kind of disappointing because <laughs> like, bro, why you promote it? If you're not gonna show, you're not gonna get, you, if you're not gonna, you know, give it to us. I understand it's supposed to be rare and stuff, but come on, man, 21 packs? Well, uh, maybe that was another, but never mind. Here, I got, I didn't even get this one also. I didn't get Rage of, I didn't even get Raw also. So, like, what the hell did I get? <laughs> uh, but who knows, day 21 will actually be our day of reckoning. The day that we will finally be able to pull Ra. So, without further delay, let's open it up. And see whether or not day 21 is a success or a failure. So, without further delay, let's open it up. Mmm, scary. Kind of the Yu Gi Oh smell. Alright, the first card is Left Arm Offering. Now, I've had this one before, so nothing special. There's Left Arm and Right Arm. I think I've managed to pull both. If you have two or more other cards in your hand, banish your entire hand, add one spell from your deck to your hand. You cannot spell you cannot set spell traps during the turn you activate this card. So yeah, there's left arm offering and then there's right arm offering. I, I forgot which one has what which one is the effect. Uh yeah, I'm not sure. Who knows we will maybe able to pull right arm in the same pack, but who knows? But yeah, if you guys are wondering what these do, this is the left arm offering. So basically uh, this is a way just to get spell, so I'm assuming right arm is a way to get traps. I could be wrong, I could be right, who knows. So yeah, the first card is left arm, I'm afraid. The second card is Jinzo Returner. This dude, oh my god, this dude, I've pulled him so many times. So many times, I'm just sick of looking at his face. But yeah, he's part of the newest series of Jinzo, so yeah, nothing special. So never mind. Jinzo Returner. This card can attack directly when this card is sent to the graveyard. You can target one Jinzo in your graveyard, special summon it, but destroy it in your end phase. So yeah, if you guys love Jinzo's cards, then you can get this guy. The next one is, oh, okay, this one's, okay, I don't, oh, yeah, never mind, I've had this one. Tolkien, stamp, Tolkien? <laughs> I don't know why, that sounded like Jake uh, Tolkien from Lord of the Rings. But never mind, Token Stampede, infinite trap card, all tokens in attack position gain 1000 attack. They cannot be destroyed by battle. So basically, if you have the cards, Cape Goat, and you have this, this is practically a beast. A good card, you know. So, so if you, yeah, and if you guys know, Cape Goat is from Joey's deck. Hence, most of these cards are kind of like Joey. Like, Jinzo is kind of like Joey. Next, we got is Mechlord Astro Mechanical. So, I'm guessing this is one of the Mechlord cards. I'm not sure which, uh, I'm guessing it's from the Synchro series because, you know, it says there, uh, Synchro Monster. I'm not going to read it because it's so long, but I've pulled this one before and I'll say it again. I'm assuming this is probably the strongest Mechlord card. So, like, if you have, like, a Mechlord deck, this is probably the strongest Mechlord card you can possibly get. And the final one, is it Slime Obelisk? No, it's not, but it is a new card. I don't think I've ever had this one before. A rare everlasting alloy. So here's Jinzo. If you control Jinzo, activate one of these effects. All machine monsters you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effect until the end of the turn. When the card 
or effects elevated at Tago Zubishimo, so you could really get effects. So it has effects in Jinzo. I think this just is like an add on towards Jinzo. But no matter how good it is, this is not the cut that we want. That we want it. Slime Oblis. So day 21 is another failure. Alright, guys, that's it for this video. It's been XYZ. Thank you for watching. Bye.